So we are just hanging out. The Yorkie, the Lasso, and we have a new addition in the house right now. Um, his name is Gino. He's a party Yorkie. And um, I want to introduce you guys to him. Look at him. Look at that little guy. So a little uh, backstory on Gino, the party Yorkie. Uh, he was, he's a rescue pup. So we went on a rescue mission to go uh, save him because he has a heart condition. Uh, we're not really sure exactly what it is. He's scheduled for um, our echocardiogram uh, coming up here in a month or so. So I will definitely keep you updated on um, his test results. Uh, but he, he has a heart condition, so the breeder was going to just give him up. Come here. I'm potty training him right now. So he's, you know, he's having accidents here and there. But, um, you know, that's what potty training is. They have accidents. Anyway, so he has a, he has a, a heart condition. It could be either a leaky valve or it could be a heart murmur. So... A lot of the times people don't really realize this is that, um, you know, the breeders will more than likely put them down when they have a, a defect like that because they can't sell them. So good breeders will try to find people that will are willing to take the puppy and, you know, cover the cost of medical care uh, and all that stuff, which in this case... Um, the good breeder um, decided to give him to us to rescue and um, we will cover the cost for his medical uh, diagnosis and uh, treatments and what have you and then you know when it comes to adopting him out um, or whoever adopts him I definitely would want to make sure that they will be um, you know signing something saying that they will for sure cover his medical care and if they don't we want him back because we want the best for the puppy and we don't want anything bad to happen to him we don't want him to be put down that's why we rescued him in the first place so i mean just from looking at this little guy you literally can't even tell that he has a heart condition he's so spunky um you know sometimes with heart murmurs they can um outgrow a heart murmur um and then you know sometimes with uh where's miki oh he's sleeping see the older ones they're tired during the day they sleep um but he's just a puppy so he's ready to play yeah i'll get a better clip of him what are you guys doing are you gonna go get him are you gonna go get him huh you gonna go get him are you gonna go get him, Nikki? Huh, Gracie? Go get him. Yeah. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Go get him. Oh. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? Go get him. Oh. 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 Gino, Gino, Bino. Oh. Hey, Gino. Hey, Gino. But, yeah, so if he has a heart murmur, it could, he could outgrow the heart murmur, which hopefully that's the case. Um, if he has a leaky valve, you know, there's medication that he can be on for the rest of his life, and he can, you know, live a pretty decent life. Um, so I'm hoping, hoping it's something that isn't too serious and that he'll be able to live out a good, healthy, happy life. I mean, look at how cute he is. Gino! Gino! What are you... What? What, what is that? Look how cute he is! Oh! Gino! No, no! No bites! No bites! No bites! No bites! No bites! Ah! He's teething, so he's just, oh, hello. He's kind of getting attached to me a little bit. 
he loves this cat toy. It's so funny. The cats don't play with it, but he just, he's like in love with it. <laughs> he's obsessed with it. It's like so awesome to him. Isn't he a babe though? He's so cute. Gino Bino. So yeah, so, you know, I want to find him a good home where, where they're willing to, you know, cover his medical care and they want a special needs dog. Um, but we find out in about a month, um, you know, how serious his condition is. And, you know, not every breeder is a bad guy, you know. They're doing the right thing. They're, they, they're choosing to find people to take these puppies in. And thank God that there's people like, you know, like me that exist that are willing to, you know, take on the, the fostering aspect of it and make sure that they have, you know, a good life. And... A lot of people will be like, oh, you know, why don't you take on a, a dog that's, you know, like, you know, a different kind of breed. Why are you taking just small puppies? And for me, you know, because of my, the animals that I have at my home, uh, I can only really take on small puppies just because, um, you know, of, you know, for the safety of my animals. I also have three cats. So, um, I, I'm comfortable with taking on puppies, but I know a lot of people that are willing to foster, uh, uh, big doggies too. So, you know, when you, when you do this a lot, you have a big circle of people that, that love animals. Say hi, Gracie. Oh, see, she's tired. Oh, is that puppy wearing you out? Is he wearing you out, baby? Yeah. See, I'm tired, mama. I'm tired. He's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. She's real touchy sometimes. Sometimes, like, if you touch her too much and she doesn't want to be bothered, she'll snap at you. You know? Yeah, she's a good one. Oh, she's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Little baby Grace. She just turned four. See, I just turned four years old, Mama. I just turned four. Yeah. We rescued her at three and a half, three and a half months. He, this puppy is 11 weeks old now. So he's just a baby. Gino! Gino Bino! Tamiki Binky. Nico's a lasso apso. He's 13. And he's real tired. And he's got, um, he's a special needs. He's got mega esophagus. And Gino likes to bite toes. No, Gino. No biting. But, um... Yep, Miko's got mega esophagus, so he has to eat in a special <laughs> chair. Um, I'll show you the chair. My husband built the chair, um, out of pegboard. Um, and we're actually... One of our friends is building us a new one because um, we've had this one for like four or five years. So he's going to build us like a nice wood one. Um, but we keep the blanket in there so it doesn't, so it's nice and comfy for him while he sit. My dog likes to stand. Some mega esophagus, esophagus dogs like us like to sit, but Miko prefers to stand. I've tried to adjust this chair to make him sit, but he doesn't want to. So I put a little padding down there for his feetsies. And we have a little weight so it doesn't tip over. But yeah, I mean, you can home make a chair for your dog if they end up getting diagnosed. You know, he was just randomly regurgitating, like, after he would eat and just throughout the day and stuff like that. And our doctor said it was because he had a back problem, but um, we later found out that he had mega esophagus and he couldn't keep the food down on his own. So he has to go in the chair for the food to travel down to his stomach, like kind of like gravity, let, let gravity, um, take, take control. There's my cat, Ninja. Ninja, he's basking in the sun right now. 
it's a nice wintry day at the Kelfis household. Hi, Gino. Hi, Gino Bino. Huh? Say hi. Say hi. What is it? Go get him. And I wanted to show you guys. Look at him. Look at the little Gino Bino. Little Gino Bino. Uh, so this is his little playpen that I keep him in when we're not home and stuff like that. Um, he likes to tear things up, up because he's, you know, puppy. But So I do a little pee pad. Um, half pee pad, half bed, and toys, and food and water. Um, yeah, this is like his little home. This was like 25 bucks. Yeah, a local shop. It's called the Christmas Tree Shop. I don't know if you guys have Christmas tree shops around you, but um, he doesn't really like being in here too much. But at nighttime, he sleeps through the night in it. So, but yeah. So that's where he goes when I go. Just because he's a puppy and it's safer to keep him contained. But, you know, eventually when he gets older, I'd probably, he probably won't need this. But these are great for puppies. And you can, um, you can put a zipper or if I can find a, if I can find this on Amazon, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh. Because I don't think Christmas Tree Shop has a website. But and they don't always have these in stock. So I'm pretty sure if I... Amazon will probably have these in stock. So... Um, hi, Yorkie. What, you want me to take them out? You want them out? I wouldn't even be able to put her in there. Honestly. She wouldn't go in there. No way. Yorkie don't go in there. She's like, uh-uh, mama. No, he wants you. She wants her. He wants her. Okay. Here, come here, Dino. Come here. And take you out of there. You gotta go pee-pee? You gotta go pee-pee? Huh? You gotta go pee-pee? So he's a party Yorkie, so his colors are different than hers, but they're the same dog. Come on. They're both Yorkies. So this is how I potty train him. So he's got a pee pad close by the door. So he's going to get familiar with going outside potty eventually when he's old enough and he has all of his vaccinations. Because I would not recommend bringing a puppy outside before they are vaccinated like you don't want to do that you want them all vaccinated before you bring them outside because believe it or not they can get parvo from from your backyard they can and to think that they can't is reckless so um yeah a puppy can get parvo from the backyard regardless if other dogs have exposure or not puppies are they don't have an immune system built up like older dog does so if parvo is lurking somewhere in your backyard because it flown over from a neighbor's yard or, or whatever, wherever Parvo likes to accumulate. I'm not saying you have it in your backyard, but there's a possibility that it could be in your backyard. Okay, so don't take them outside until they're all vaccinated. Um, so here's the here here's his pee pad. Um, come here, Gino. Go pee pee. Well, now that Gracie's over here. He's going to be distracted. But see, I, I put him by his pee. And, uh... Oh, he got scared. Oh, no. Well, that's not going to work. Anyways, I put him on the pee pad 
where, you know, he can smell his scent where he's already peed. And he usually pees right there. He'll go pee. I sit there, I say, go pee-pee. He goes pee-pee.